What's going on YouTube? It's your boy DJ T-Stomp and round two of the Drake versus Kendrick Lamar beef has officially begun. Here's what happened and here's what we can expect going forward. We all saw how round one went. Drake dropped several tracks, Kendrick dropped several tracks. It was an exciting time and yes, it is subjective, but the general hip hop consensus is that Kendrick Lamar beat Drake in the first round of the battle. Now, of course, the first round ended on May 5th when Drake dropped the heart part six. We've seen a few events since the end of this. We saw Kendrick do a complete victory lap on Drake. The record that served as Kendrick's finishing blow to Drake, They Not Like Us, peaked at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 and is charted for 17 weeks straight. None of Drake's records have seen, you know, comparable uh, per commercial performance at all. As of the recording of this video, they Not Like Us is currently number 10 on the Billboard Hot 100. He also got the city of Los Angeles together to shoot the music video where he takes more jabs at Drake and the video was very, very well received. Drake, on the other hand, has done some strategic moves to try to clear the air. He dropped quite a few records. He released a website called 100 Gigs to share old nostalgic video clips from his career. And lastly, he started a Finsta account called Plot Twist to do some trolling. Now Drake hinted at a round two and Kendrick has officially given it to him by dropping a record on Instagram without a caption for the songs at least rumored to be called Watch the Party Die with some loose lyrics. Now on the record, Kendrick raps, I think it's time to watch the party die. This shit done got too wicked to apologize. It's different, get him whacked and disqualified. He also raps, just walk that man down. That'll do everyone a solid. It's love, but tough love. Sometimes you got to result in violence. And lastly, he said, I feel for the women that deal with the clown and the nerd shit. Now, of course, there are more bars and disses on the tracks. Those are some of the obvious ones. This track was extremely unexpected because Kendrick said in his Super Bowl halftime commercial that there's only one opportunity to win and no round two. And everybody thought this was a response to Drake because Drake kept hinting at, oh, round two, round two, round two. Now for round two, Kendrick is officially going first. And I think the importance of this is going to go over a lot of people's head. When you're beefing on wax, which means musically for you non hip hop heads, the person that goes first has a major disadvantage because the person that gets to go second gets the opportunity to defend themselves and attack at the same time. They also get to choose the pace of the records being released as well as the direction they want to take this. Now, most hip hop heads speculated that Kendrick was going to take his W quietly from the first round and Drake was going to initiate round two at a later date, but that's not what happened at all. Kendrick actually initiated the first round himself. Remember, in round one, Drake officially went first when push-ups leaked. A strong argument for why Drake lost round one was because he had to go first and Kendrick could respond on his own timing. Now, by this logic, Drake has arguably an advantage here. Now, Kendrick still does have the benefit of coming off winning the last round in terms of public perception, but once again, Drake gets to go second this time, which is different from the first time. Now, in terms of what to expect, there's gonna be multiple diss tracks. I don't think Drake is gonna respond too quickly, especially after what happened last time, but I do think there's gonna be some back and forth. Now, if Kendrick wins round two against Drake, this competition is officially over. Kendrick would have won two and oh, and he proved everything he needed to prove. There will be nothing left to prove. He proved that he could win no matter what order the tracks were released. A lot of people were saying, oh man, you know, in the last round, Drake had to win a 20v1. Kendrick got layups from The Weeknd, Rick Ross, ASAP Rocky, Future. Without them, it would have been harder for Kendrick. But Kendrick is, you know, doing this round without an assist, as we know. So if Kendrick wins this round, Drake officially has no excuses. He'll just have to take the loss and move on. Now, if Drake wins this round, this competition and beef will never end. This will be another version of Rick Ross and 50 Cent's beef where every interview, every album, every Instagram video, they are gonna take shots at each other and jabs at each other until they both die. That's what's gonna happen. Not gonna lie, this beef was extremely unexpected. You know, as I said, a lot of people thought there was gonna be no round two. What do you guys think will happen? It's your boy DJ T-Sump and I'm out. Peace.